amazing lads out enjoying ourselves and it's our Christmas and it's our time. We are British Pakistanis, right? We're here in this country. Some of us were born here and the way I see it is like we're all trying to make a statement. In an effort to bring up their own identity, Muslim children should be doing something creative and not something that is destructive to both themselves, their culture and their religion as well, because that's exactly what they're doing. Is it tickle? No. I love the night before even, because you're all excited. I hope I get toys to scare. Eid is extremely important to the Muslim family. It is a joyous occasion to celebrate the end of month of Ramadan and fasting. I'm wearing a long skirt. I've got three Some clothes. nice new shoes, a nice waistcoat. And I'm going to enjoy myself. Behave. With the build-up of Eid, you've been fasting for 30 days and it's like a release at the end of it because you kept your fast. It's like you've got something special to look forward to. Sure, isn't it? <laughs> Good one. Yeah, man, man. Take it off. You're a bad man or something. Take, take it off. The day before Eid, you go shopping, get some nice gear and that. It's nice. Arrange things with your friends about what you're going to do on Eid, like hire a car, because it's Eid, right? A lot of lads want to go out in style. Yeah, do you want to try them? And then possibly ask them for Manchester's number. Hello, it's Mr. Burr speaking. Can you tell me if you've got any cars available for the day, please? you not got nothing today? OK. What is the chance of me getting a car tomorrow? Very doubtful. Hello, can you tell me if you've got any cars available, please? I, I think it'll just be for the day. All right, cheers. Thanks a lot anyway. Bye. Another piss full. Do you like putting Mandy on yeah. people's hands? Oh, yes, I love to. It's my hobby. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went down to the hire company. We booked a car yesterday. Um, basically went down, everything was okay, and then they took my license to the back, came out the front, and they says, well, sorry, we can't hide to you. They just carry on stinking, they think, Asians are coming, it's Eid, it's their Christmas, they know it's our Christmas, right? So why can't they be saying Merry Christmas to us and saying, there you go, sir, there's the car. We're paying with money, right? Which we've worked hard to get just because of Eid, because it's Eid, yeah? We get our high hopes all high that we're going to go out on Eid. Next thing you know, they start pulling out these fuckeries. No, as much I, I'm not going to walk down that road. No way am I going to walk down that road if I don't get a car. I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'll go sit in my house peacefully and just chill. Still, at the end of the day, you don't feel a part of all the E thing because the E thing is involved when all these cars are together. What are you going to do? A convoy drives off to wherever. Are you going to jog behind them or get on a bike behind them or catch a bus or catch a taxi to wherever they're going? You want to be with the... Like I've said, you want to move as a massive, you want to move as a thin. Yeah. 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 All right, safe. In a bit. Cash says he's gonna. We can oh. use his motor. So. Looks nice now, doesn't it? I'm just happy tomorrow's. Need. <laughs> From when you get your traditional gear on, you know it's Eid, right? Go straight down to the mosque and read our prayer. Or meet people who are there, give out Eid Mubarak. My perception of the older Asian community and that is I respect them very highly for their values because they've kept their values still coming to this country, right? From down to last tea, from wearing the scarves, you know, from everything, they've kept their identity even though they come to a foreign country. The thing is, with us growing up here, we've changed. What are you doing? Are you going to block What time are you going to go? About one or two o'clock, man. Charlie, give him a ring, yeah? Give him a ring about two o'clock. Tell him just find out where he is. That's the way I've been brought up. To respect my religion and that. Just get some mix of my type, mum. Traditionally, people who celebrate need, they tend to either go around to families' houses, 
you know, see them, greet them, Eid Mubarak. <laughs> and like most of the girls, like they do the same thing. That's a traditional way, which I do anyway. You know, I spend my morning with the family. But when it comes to after hours, right, for me it's a time to enjoy myself, right, because I'm a Pakistani from inside, but on the outside I'm English. And to me, the way of enjoying yourself is to go out and have a laugh with the lads. Some people say their idea of enjoying themselves would be going round to someone's house, chit-chat for a bit, and that's good, that's fine. But to me, I want real escapism. But I'll get back to my studio just before six or five o'clock because that's like the main time that Rums and Rolls starts. Rums and Rolls is like, you know, that's the thing, that's where it's like majoring from, that's what it's building up to. Get to Rums and Rolls and everyone's there, there's crowds everywhere, everyone's got hype cars, everyone's enjoying themselves, everyone's buzzing, everyone's there, you know, just enjoying themselves, you know, enjoying life to the full, like, because Eid's their day, Eid's our day. You know. <laughs> Like any young person these days, it is boredom, it is to show that they have an identity, it is to show that they have a role in the society, and it is to show the society as a whole that they exist. In my whole life, I don't take shit from no one, yeah? I think a lot of Asians don't want to be known as victims or anything like that. You know what I mean? We've been brought up in this culture too. And it's not like we've got no hands or anything. We've not got no mouths, we can't speak. You know, maybe in the olden days when Pakistanis couldn't speak, when the older generation came over, because of the language gap, they couldn't say what they felt. And I think it's time that the younger generation carry on, who can speak the language. <laughs> There's younger people growing up, younger white people. We've got to educate them in a way of our culture so they can understand us more. So then they don't take us for, oh, you've got 15 wives at home, haven't you? You know, thinking that we've got wives in their and all that. It's not like that. Grow up and learn about different people's traditions and ways of living. And then maybe you could understand more. Maybe they could understand, you know, us and what we're about. <laughs> One driver, two driver, two cars. Yeah, don't point I'm not going to drive him. He's illegal, he's got no license. Never mind. I'm a passenger. Anyway, let's get our phone down there. That's all we want, to the car. Let's go. It's our Christmas. You know, we've come out to enjoy ourselves, not to be stopped by police every 13 seconds. Ask questions about this and that. You know, is this your car? Obviously. You know, stuff like that. Which, it's just like... They take the piss. We move to the pain. By uh, actually uh, doing the things that they do, would be tainting the Islamic image with aggression, with violence, with arrogance, with ignorance, with disobedience, right? Easy, man. Don't let it die. I don't see it as what I do, as wrong. It's like saying that the family's not religious by going to meet friends and family. It's that it's what they're doing, they're enjoying themselves in their own way. And because we're brought up here, we enjoy ourselves in a different way. And this is the way we, well, I see fit to enjoy myself on Eve night. This is our Pakistan, man.
now people are beginning to see us not as old Patel who lives at the corner shop or something like that. It's not that now. We're the type of people who won't stand for it no more because, like, we have got a firm foothold in this society now. Yeah. This for us in a way, right, it's like frustrations. It, we let them out on this let night. We just really let loose and get rid of them. It's now it's time for darkness. We're Which going darker. You dark, Vader. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to back down. 